Hello everybody, this is Steve from Equity Up Reviews. I hope everybody's well. Sorry it's been so long since our last video. Uh, this is down to personal reasons, um, events in our personal lives. We had to take a break away from YouTube. So we do apologise about that, but we are back and hopefully with a vengeance. So let's get straight into it. The first app that we are doing today is a one that came out in May to, I believe it was beta testers. And then it was released to the public in October. And it's one of a, a few apps this company launched in October. And this one is, it's by Google and it's Allo. And Google Allo is a messaging app just like WhatsApp. Yes, there's quite a few out there. I do realise that. But I'll totally admit, I love Google. <laughs> I love Google apps. Um, so I, I definitely wanted to try this. Now, it's like WhatsApp with an added extra. Some people love it. Some people hate it, as with any app. But um, let's get started. That's the easiest thing. Right, so we've got Mark there. Mark is the co-presenter on Equity Apps. You'll see reviews by Mark over time. So let's send him a message. So obviously just click it open. Now you can do your normal type of messaging. Test for Equity App Reviews. Let's send that. The keyboard I'm using, by the way, if anybody wants to know, is Swift Key. That's my always my go-to keyboard. I love Swift Key. So you get the marker in the corner. One one tick means it's been delivered. Two ticks means it's been opened. Okay, so just like WhatsApp, where you've got the blue ticks, you can grey ticks when it's been sent, and blue ticks for when it's been opened on WhatsApp. So there's Mark replied. Now, when when somebody replies, Google Allo learns your conversation, how you speak, like not how you speak, but the sort of things you use in your conversations. So it puts up these suggestions, what you want to use. You could possibly use them. Sometimes they're okay and they fit, but sometimes they're not relevant, you know, until it gets to know what you're doing. So I'll just type I am, just press that. There you go. On top of that, you've got some the smileys. Then you, there's loads of smileys, like packages you can download. Yeah, little funny cartoon ones. Now, if you press the plus sign to the left hand side, that opens up the camera. There's my leg. Hey. Keyboard, obviously. Photos. And then you come along here and you can download extra packs of these. So I'm assuming these are just classed as emoticons. So let's just do this. What's with me? <laughs> do you love the autofill feature? Then I sent that picture. <laughs> right. And then obviously you can put your location in as well, which will pick it up from Google Maps. Got all these different emoticons. Oh, nom 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 nom. <laughs> Love ones and TV. The TV reminds me of Eva Ledner from the old seventies children's program Will Will or the Wisp. That's typical me. Yeah, these emojis are, are fantastic. And you can get all different packs here. Some of them are free. I wouldn't be surprised if some of them are chargeable. I don't know. But they all look free personally. But have a look. There's absolutely loads there. There's Mark, for some reason, sending me a kiss. <laughs> right. So that's, that's that one. 
Thank you. <laughs> it's uh, the autofill feature. Yes, that's that's the ones there. Like, no, thank you. You're welcome. There you go. All right. And so you've also got this feature. Hello, Mark. Problem with my recording? Please try later. I've never had that before. I've never had that before. I don't know what's wrong with that. But just like WhatsApp where you can do the voice messages, you can do the voice messages on here. And yeah, without tapping any words. Good. There you go. So let's give one more try. No. But it does normally work. That's the first time it's ever failed for me which is slightly embarrassing, but there you go. Now, you obviously, you need internet connection for this or your mobile data. Now, it's just like the WhatsApp messages, you can send voice messages, which I do a lot. Um, I find it so much easier sometimes, because sometimes you don't, you don't want to sit there typing massive messages out and it's easier just to say things. So there's that. Now, going back, you've got Google Assistant. Now this is where it gets different. We love Google Assistant. Let's hope it works this time. Can't record audio at the moment. Ah, right. I wonder if that's to do with the screen recorder app that I'm using. Wonder if that's conflicting with it. Yes, because I tried to send a message before when it was on and as soon as I shut the screen recorder app down, it worked. Yeah, so I think that's probably what it is. You obviously, if you're not using the screen recorder app, you won't have that problem. But Google Assistant uh, is like what the what they've just renamed the app Google Home or something it's called now, where you can ask it questions. What's the weather like in your area? What time is it? Give me the sports news, all that sort of thing. And you can ask it to give you a poem or a joke or just all that sort of thing. It's sort of like a to me, at the moment, it seems like a simplified version of Siri. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles as Siri has at the moment, but it will get there. Now, the Google Assistant, which is in Google Allo, is apparently the beta version. So it will be getting updated. And currently, it does not have a voice, does not have speech, but it will have that in the future. This is this is what I've heard. So... Let's so see what it does. Yeah, I've just put hi. There you go. Hola. That's hello in Spanish. <laughs> so let's see what it says. I'm doing this instead of using speech, but you can do the same thing in speech. Hello in other languages. Then it brings up Google search. For that sort of thing. And you can give it a thumbs up if you like the results. Glad, glad you like it. Let's see. What can you do? Then it'll give you the list of things that it can do. Subscriptions, fun, going out, looking for restaurants, things like that. What's the weather like? Just give you general answers about a question. News, international news, sports news. Let's play a trivia game, things like that. Can we know? Tell me sports news, Real Madrid roster, things like that. Travel details. You can, you can get it to set an alarm up. You set a timer. My assistant. You can learn learn from you. Translation. It can all, also open apps, like the built-in apps, as far as I know. I, I haven't tried it on many of them. But it can open your text messages and send a message to a contact just through Google Assistant using your voice. You don't have to go typing which I found handy when driving. You can just say, just uh, get it to send an app. Really, really handy. It's literally a case of tapping Google Assistant, then it's all voice after that. So I found it handy. It does sometimes take a little bit getting used to with regards to the spelling. Like, if, like a full stop, you have to say period rather than full stop. Now, what it does for me, it puts a full stop in, but then it changes to the word period. So you've got to tap the word period and it'll give you like a list of full stop, period, da -da -da -da, like suggestions. You select the full stop. But most words, 
it gets spot on. Occasionally you might need to go go back and alter a couple of words, just like you would on anything. So, but it's it's really handy. And subscriptions, say like you want the weather in your local area. It'll give you the weather and it'll ask, do you want to be reminded each day? And you say yes, then it'll ask you the time. The, what's the weather like? Help me with the weather. Can you tell me the daily forecast or if you need an umbrella? What's the weather? There you go. I'm in Newcastle at one so six degrees. And what about tomorrow? Seven degrees tomorrow. Ooh. Right, you see at the bottom it says send me daily. So you could tap that. It'll ask you what time. So as do like seven in the morning while I'm having my breakfast, it'll come through. 